So you want to add more sites to your hosting plan because you have space for more than one and you want to know how, especially when you have the domain parked somewhere else outside of Hostinger. In this case, we want to use our Hostinger hosting to add our websites there. So let me show you how right now. What's up everyone? So I want to show you how to fit more websites into your hosting plan. Now, before I show you that, let me show you the affordable plans that they have because there's an extra discount coupon code. So jump over to the link in the description, go to hosting, go to web hosting. And as I mentioned before, there's hosting plans where you can fit more sites than only one. So the idea is to take advantage of the hosting that you are already paying. So my recommendation is the cloud startup because it has a dedicated IP. But if you're looking for an affordable plan, grab business or premium. In this case, let me add business to show you how to add the coupon code. Once you're here, you're going to be asked how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 48 months. Now, this is the total right now. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172. So grab the hosting plan with my coupon code. All right. So Here's my Hostinger H panel, and we're going to go to websites. The idea is to fit more websites in our hosting plan. Okay. So what we're going to do is add a website where you can use WordPress or Hostinger website builder. In this case, I'll use WordPress and I'll go select the hosting plan that I'm going to use. In this case, I'm going to use my cloud startup hosting plan. Let's go ahead and select it. And we're going to go through the setup process of this WordPress site. So let me go through this really quickly and we'll go to the next steps. Okay, so this is just something I wrote for the AI, nothing fancy about it. And this is where we're going to add our domain. In this case, I'm going to connect a subdomain from somewhere else. So I have a domain on Cloudflare and I want to use my Hostinger hosting plan. Okay, so in this case, I am going to say new dot Annie which is a domain I own. Let's get a few seconds so it reads it. Here we go. Now it's giving me some options to buy some other domain. But in this case, I am going to use this one. So registered confirm ownership, right? Let's go next. Let's confirm that we own this domain and we need to point it to Hostinger and let's give it a few seconds for the website to be built. Here we go. We are now in the dashboard for this new domain. Now, this is not going to work unless we connect it. Okay. So for example, if I go to this domain right now, nothing is going to happen. So I need to point it to this section where I'm going to find this information. I'm going to go to my hosting plan details. If you have several hosting plans, be aware to jump into the the website that you just built and go to the plan from here. Okay. So this is a cloud startup. I'm going to go see details and I'm going to need this IP address. Okay. So let's go ahead and copy this. Let's come back over here and let's go into our Cloudflare. Now, DNS are practically the same. It just looks different. So what you have to do is same steps wherever you have your domain. In this case, this is Cloudflare. So I'm going to add a record and I'm going to create the subdomain. You can see here new.anylofer.com. I'm going to add the IP address and I'm going to turn off the proxy status for now because it's faster to get it propagated. Okay. Okay. So now we have it connected. Let's come back to our panel. Okay. Let's go ahead and refresh it. There we go. Let's see if it's now ready. And here we go. We have our site ready. Like I said, this is a domain somewhere else and I'm taking advantage of my Hostinger plan. Now this is a way to use a domain from outside, but if you have a domain inside of Hostinger, it's much easier because you don't have to do anything with the DNS. But that's how easy it is to take advantage of your hosting plan and add more websites. And that's a wrap.